The ICIJ, the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists, has revealed the names of thousands of prominent politicians and the wealthiest one percenters who hold an estimated $32 trillion combined in offshore tax havens. Now, it's estimated that a third of the entire world's wealth are in these untaxable offshore accounts. That's hundreds of billions of dollars, if not trillions of dollars, every year in lost government revenues. Here in the United States, it's estimated that every year we lose out on $150 billion. Up to this point, many of the account holders remain anonymous because of the complex web they weave to protect their identities. So the question comes up, how do you catch a criminal when you don't know who it is who's committing the crimes. Now, thanks to the ICIJ's work, we have names and faces that we can associate with those greedy individuals who have been holding progress back, because it's a lot easier to fight the fight when you know who you're fighting. For example, here in the United States, Mitt Romney's campaign for the 2012 presidency suffered a devastating blow when investigative journalists revealed that he had millions of dollars stashed away in the Cayman Islands. With this release, many of the names revealed include high-ranking government officials and politicians, like the deputy speaker of the Mongolian parliament, who is already considering resigning after the ICIJ revealed that he was a rampant tax avoider. The campaign treasurer to France's president, Francois Hollande, has been named, and the current prime minister of Georgia whose estimated worth is around $5 billion has been implicated. It's now the responsibility of the people and the journalists in those individual countries to take this information that the ICIJ has laid out and run with it. In the United States and Europe, political circles are focused on austerity and cutting social programs to fix our debt problem in the long run but little attention is paid to shutting down these untaxable offshore accounts. This will add fuel to the fire for Americans and people all over the world who are being screwed over by the wealthy class and being blamed as the leechers on society to now renegotiate the social contract and ensure that these modern day robber barons are no longer burdening the society as a whole and forcing us into debt. The significance of these offshore files is incredible and can't be overstated. The way the ICIJ patiently organized, combed through, and analyzed the over 200 gigs of raw data that was leaked to their leader, the intrepid journalist Gerard Ryle, is a feat unseen in journalism history. Journalists from over 40 countries have spent the last 15 months putting together this information and are now, finally, strategically releasing this information in a methodical fashion that is sure to grip the world. This story is just beginning and we have no idea where it will end. But it's easy to imagine that this will serve as a catalyst for global change in the same manner that the WikiLeaks State Department cable release sparked the Arab Spring. The hard work has been done, the information is all organized and it's coming out one way or another. It's now time for us to seize this historic moment and follow through. The wealthy have the money, they have the power, but we the people, we have the technology, we have the means and the strategies to organize and call for change like never before. And after all, remember that there's a lot more of us than there are of them.